Hi, my name is Emily and today I'm going to show you how to decorate a cake at home using just a few really basic tools um, with the exception of the turntable I would say that you probably have most of them um, and the turntable is something you can get online or um, even just at Walmart or something. So um, the cake I'm making today is um, strawberry almond poppy seed and it's a vegan cake so um, I want to decorate it using really natural ingredients instead of food coloring and things like that. So um, really basic tools, uh, the, the turntable, and then this is just a piece of um, shelf liner that keeps my cake board in place. Just cardboard cake, or yeah, cardboard cake board. And then um, I have two kinds of frosting. I have um, vegan almond buttercream, and I also have um, a vegan, strawberry poppy seed buttercream. So this is what we're gonna use to decorate this cake and make it look really unique and really professional. Um, so there's no food coloring in this. Um, it is flavored and colored just using these um, freeze-dried strawberries and I just put them in a bag and crush them with a rolling pin um, and then added some poppy seeds and and that was just added to my almond buttercream so I, I now have the two okay um, other special things um, I have a 1m star tip I don't know if you can see that because it's got frosting in it um, you can get those anywhere and the um, piping bags, obviously, which you can get anywhere as well. Um, as far as special equipment, I'm, I'm not really using anything fancy. Um, I have a small offset spatula and just this little spatula. And then um, I have a bench scraper, just plain old metal, plastic, whatever bench scraper you have, flat edge. Um, and that's that's really it. So, um, so here we go. Uh, so first of all, we're gonna make sure the cake board is nice and centered. And then we're just gonna put a nice little dollop of buttercream on the board. We're gonna use that to um, hold our cake down. That's probably a little bit too much. <laughs> okay, that's better. It's a warm day, so everything is melting. Um, I like to work with really cold cakes and that helps with things like warm days. So um, I have parchment paper on the bottom of this cake. I'm just gonna pull that off. Center the cake on the board. And press it down a little bit. Okay, and wash my hands off. Okay. So um, for the middle of this, we're just gonna use the almond buttercream and I'm not gonna use a tip on this. I'm just going to snip off the end and not leave that on the cake. <laughs> okay, so with this, take off this twist tie. Okay, so we're just gonna put on some buttercream. Doesn't matter how it looks, cause we're gonna smooth this out. Oh, 
the way around. All right, so there's that. And for offset spatula, just going to put that all even. All right, so that doesn't have to be perfect or pretty or anything because um, it's going to be in the middle. No one's going to see it. Okay, so now we're going to get our second layer of cake. Peel off that parchment paper. And this one, we're going to put um, the top side down. And the reason we're doing that is because we want a nice um, square edge on the top of this cake. So we're just going to press it down, make sure there's no air bubbles in there anywhere. Make sure it's nice and even. Okay. Alright, so for this part, um, we're going to use the same frosting that we used inside in the middle. This is the almond buttercream. And, um, and we're just going to do the same thing. It doesn't have to be pretty. Just squish it around the cake just like so. Fill in that gap really well. Come all the way up here to the top. It just spit on me. Alright, so that's the end of that one. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing with the top. Just swirl it around everywhere. Doesn't have to be perfect. Maybe a little more on the side. Use our offset spatula again. Let's smooth it all out. Any excess we're going to scrape off. Just give it a nice coat. I have finished uh, smoothing out all the almond buttercream. Um, it's just a really basic um, crumb coat. Nothing fancy. As you can see, there's cake showing through and that's totally fine. Um, that's gonna kind of lend itself to this look. So what we're doing next is um, we have our strawberry poppy seed buttercream and again this doesn't take a lot of skill we're just um, kind of putting some on the side here so um, I'm going to start out all the way down to the bottom um, and we're just going to oops that's all right that's how not pretty it can be Just gonna get this covered on the bottom. I chilled this cake, and that's one reason why it's kind of fallen off. All right. And then we're 
gonna go up. Another row. places than others, lower. Let's come all the way up on this side. Okay, so there's just some frosting on the side, as you can see. We're gonna take our bench scraper again, and we're just going to move this Just going to Smooth it along the side. Scrape off the excess. And then come back around one more time. Okay, and we've got that pretty even. Next thing we're going to do is rinse off the bench scraper and get it nice and hot. Okay, it's hot, but it's dry. So I'm wiping off the water, the lint free cloth, and we're just going to Spin this one more time with the hot knife, and that's going to smooth out those poppy seeds. Alrighty, so that is our um, our pretty edge. There we go. Okay, now to the top, I want to balance this out. I feel like this Okay, so there is that edge. And now on top, I'm going to use the strawberry again and um, just kind of think of an ice cream cone. If you were swirling a soft serve cone, that's exactly what this is going to look like, okay? We just want to make sure they're all even, so we squeeze and then do a swirly like that. Let me do that all the way around. do a whole lot else to this cake because the frosting is going to be the decoration. Just make sure you squeeze evenly and consistently. Um, that's really the only thing that matters. See how that's gonna look. Okay, that's the end of that bag. Just gonna pull that out. And I got another one over here. back in the same bag that has the tip in the bottom. Alright, now we'll just finish our swirlies. Okay, 
Okay, two more. And then we're just going to sprinkle some of those freeze dried strawberries on top, and that's all. We have this pretty cake. So we're just going to take a couple of slices of these strawberries and crunch them up and just sprinkle them on the top. That's going to give us some pretty color. Okay, so there you have it. Strawberry almond poppy seed cake. Um, looks super fancy and didn't really take any special tools. So there you go. Let me show you the top. If I can pick it up. So there it is. Um, happy cake decorating.